What's up my love bugs and love muffins? It's Mama Love and welcome back to my channel. I am here with the cooking video today after the two day detox, okay? Now I did, however, mess up. I did one little mess up with the detox. Uh, I had uh, a piece of fish with the detox only because I felt like my body needed protein when I was getting weak and fruit wasn't going to do the job. I would say the two day detox was accompanied each day with a piece of fish. Keeping it real. But, um, however, I do feel good in my body though. Um, my body is uh, ready for set on diet mode because I didn't got everything. They say it's a detox, right? It's supposed to cleanse you or whatever. So I needed to get everything out so that I could start fresh. Okay, so what I am doing today is I am going to be making uh, the sway, a swahi, however you pronounce it, sway fillets, sway fish. And I bought peanut oil, peanut oil, you all. And I'm going to be making, um, I'm going to show you what. This is the a bag that came. I went to Sam's Club. Boy, do I love Sam's Club. But yeah, sway fillets, uh, fillets. And um, I, am, I bought this big bag for $6. It's red skin potatoes that I am chopping up. I'm going to have garlic butter roasted, roasted uh, potatoes. I cut up, I gotta rinse those off, whatever. And we're gonna have broccoli, which I got at Sam's Club. Comes in a, a big bag, you all, with four big packages of broccoli in the inside. So I'm gonna be having that, I'm gonna be making that. Broccoli with cheese, however. Uh, our potatoes and our Sway fish with the peanut oil. You all, that peanut oil is bomb.com, okay? But Tina, she wants to have, she doesn't like fish, so I'm gonna do wing dings on the side and Terrell's gonna be making up a buffalo sauce, so. That's what we're gonna be doing here today in this kitchen as it about to take place. I have already started cutting up my garlic potatoes. There's not much to it, but I'm going to rinse them off and then I'm going to show you how I prepare it, what I'm adding to it or whatever. So stay tuned. Okay, so I'm just cutting it, the last few of the potatoes. I just wanna show y'all how I cut them before I prepare. Well, I'll cut it down the center. And then I like to cut it in fours as I go. I don't think I needed to do a whole video on just how to how I cut them up. Now I'm going to rinse them and prepare them. You'll see everything, ingredients that I put on them. Okay, you all, so what I did was I went on ahead and Douse them a little bit in olive oil, and I'm going to make sure the oil hits each potato as I did once before. I made these, these are so doggone delicious, y'all. Red skin potatoes, baked. Oh my god! Oh my! Also, I grease my skillet that they're going to go in. Because these are gonna bake an hour, you all. These are gonna bake an hour. And what I did was, I went out and bought, at Sam's Club, the pink salt, Himalayan pink salt. Tina said that it was real uh, healthy. So I said, well, let me try it. So I'm gonna season the potatoes. I know it's on, on the top part, but I like to, you know, I'll move it around. It'll get each one. And uh, I'm gonna use, uh, some onion powder. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna start with paprika because I don't see my onion powder over here. But I put a little paprika on them. This big old thing of black pepper I got from Sam's Club. Um, I usually like to use onion powder. Let me get some more. And since I don't have my garlic powder, you all, I am going to use a little garlic salt because I do want the garlic taste even though I got the Himalayan pink salt which is so good and it's supposed to be you know healthy or whatever so I'm going to go ahead and douse that a little bit just so I can get that garlic taste and flavor and then I'm going ahead and work it through with my fingers as usual as I did with the oil. Oops, it's okay. Get it all through. And then I'm gonna go ahead and dump them in my skillet. Now, this skillet may be, no, it's just right. I would say, good, good enough. Yes. 
Those are going to bake uncovered mm. in the oven mm. Mm. at 350 Good. for an hour while I prepare the meat. Stay tuned. Suede fish. I'm putting this again, pink salt. I'm gonna use some lemon pepper instead of hot pepper. Black pepper. I'm gonna use lemon pepper on it this time. Actually, I don't know why I'm putting seasoning on this because I'm using Louisiana fish fry, so I don't want to put too much salt, but I do want it with lemon pepper. So let me eliminate that salt on this side. And that's all I'm going to put on here, y'all. But over here, I'm going to use salt and pepper. And the sink clean, so don't be saying that. Oh, yeah, of course. I'm good. Everybody know I'm clean. Okay. And I'm going to season this, these wing things with the pink salt. This pink salt is good for you, but it's, it's really salty. So I have to watch the... What is it called pink salt? It's Himalayan pink, from a Himalayan or something. So yeah, it goes around. You gonna do that, what's the name on it? What's that? The mustard. Yeah, you gonna do your mustard on this course? I'm gonna let that sit there. And Terrell's gonna do his, his mustard. He's gonna put mustard on that. Um, I wanna hurry up though, because our grease is over here. Now, now this is what I use. Peanut oil. It is good for, great for frying. That's what it says, and stir fries. So from now on in this house, we are no longer going to use vegetable oil. We are going to be using peanut oil because I heard it is the healthiest oil. So that's what we're doing. And uh, I'm gonna get my broccoli and my cheese going. So I mean, you ain't really gotta, so I'm gonna show y'all all that when I'm done with it. But y'all, basically, we can make, anybody can make that, you know what I'm mean? saying? I just want y'all to see it all on the plate. You know what I'm saying? So, my son is doing what he do. This, if y'all didn't know, it's not, your chicken is not gonna taste like mustard. It's gonna still taste like how your chicken tastes, but it makes your chicken crispier. I'm gonna make the uh, buffalo sauce too to put on them. He's gonna make the buffalo sauce. That should be good right there. Yeah, that's good. In the meantime, I'm gonna go over here and get my, cause my oil's getting hot. And I'm going to, sorry baby, I'm sad shit here too. I'm gonna go ahead and put me some Louisiana fish fry in this batter bowl right here. And I'm just gonna do it the simple way y'all. This is the simplest way to do it. I'm not gonna make up a batter because everybody's hungry right now. We hungry up in here. Okay. And we've been, you know, I, I did good on that uh that two-day fast detox. Guess what, y'all? I'm still doing it anyway because I like the drink. I like the drink itself. And so in the mornings I am uh mornings and afternoons I am um drinking that grapefruit juice uh drink or whatever. And I'm also eating a sensible dinner. So that's how I'm gonna take that and do that. Yeah. We're gonna go ahead and put that over in there like that there. We're gonna put that in there like that there. Okay. All right, so, and then we got our, I like to use these pots even though I know I need a deep fryer, but at the same time, these deep fry your wing things real good when I, this peanut oil y'all is the bomb.com, okay? That's gonna go in there. So stay tuned, Bel Air. The fish is frying really nice and so is this deep fried wing things. Just put that on. Here's the batch I already made. Look at that golden brown fish y'all. Oh my. Crispy golden brown, that is the peanut oil the bomb.com y'all I can't wait can't wait to see my teeth I hate my cabinets that's a pet peeve it's one of my pet peeves y'all I cannot stand open cabinets left open stuff like that but anyway yeah so I feel good right now in my body I feel a little weak because this would be the first meal that I'm eating today after I had been drinking the um, detox drink or whatever that I had made up. I don't know, this made me want to keep doing it, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Just keep doing it. I have a video coming up about um, me having a reduction on my body. 
having something reduced. And um, the video for that next, I'm not gonna talk about that in this video, but things to do. You know, it's just like things to do for you. And 2020, you know, making some changes and some plans and self-preservation and making Reba happy, you know, that's, that's what it's about, you know. Make yourself happy, self-preservation. Preparing yourself. Mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, just peace. Just that peace, y'all. And ain't nothing wrong with it. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Broccoli and cheese is finished. Just brought these out the oven, these crispy babies. Garlic roasted, garlic buttered roasted. This fried chicken, y'all. Wing ding. The fried fish over here. Y'all, this is going to be a good meal. I'm gonna bite into one of these crispy wings while I'm gonna hang with y'all. Oh my God. I should have been using peanut oil. Yeah. Everybody throw y'all vegetable oil out. From now on, when you gotta fry, just use peanut oil. Mm, mm, mm. Oh! That's so good. Crispy. So here's my plate I just made for myself. The kids is downstairs on their way up. But, got me two pieces of wing jeans, one little piece of fish. These garlic roasted potatoes, y'all, is so good. Oh my, oh my God. Mm. So I'm gonna give me a little ranch over here. Uh -huh. Hot sauce, barbecue sauce. Okay. Y'all, they still downstairs, but you ever go to a restaurant and you order some broccoli? Supposed to be steamed broccoli now, but your broccoli ain't done. It's so easy to chew in it. I like mine done. Well, the broccoli is actually soft, but cheese is so good, y'all. Mm. Mm. I ain't got no hard tail broccoli, you know? I'm mm not -hmm. cold. Now I'm gonna put a little ranch on my roasted potato. Ten and twelve, but I was gonna wait on them. They downstairs with their friend Chris. They doing what they do. But Mama love and her like. I bought it and I cooked it. I ain't gonna serve it too. Hello. Mm, I'm trying to fish y'all. This way fish, y'all. Comment down below if it's Swahi or Sway. I think I said that in my other video too. Asked y'all to comment down below, but. Mm. Y'all. Yeah. I don't know if that peanut oil gave it. They say that peanut oil give your food a flavor. Mm. that's good. That's what your restaurants use. Y'all let me know if y'all know. What are you doing? Y'all can come over to my house and eat if y'all want. Mm -mm -mm. Y'all. I love my kids, but y'all see, I ain't waiting on everything. Peace out, Jesus, and I'm trying to wait.